You've heard about wetlands. I'm talking marshes, bogs, swamps. But did you know these wetlands can store carbon for hundreds or even thousands of years? Let's start with a quick refresher. What is carbon? Carbon is an element like hydrogen or oxygen. Carbon can exist by itself, but it can also form molecules. One molecule you probably recognize is carbon dioxide, CO2. Wetland plants absorb carbon dioxide from the air as they grow, and they use this carbon to build new leaves, new stems, and new roots. Wetlands can support a lot of plants because wetland soils are rich in nutrients. When plants die on land, they decompose and release carbon dioxide into the air. But when plants die in wetlands, they don't fully decompose, and this stops carbon from being released. Decomposition is very slow underwater because there's not a lot of oxygen available. Over time, all of these dead plants accumulate at the bottom of the wetland, not decomposing and instead keeping carbon stored within them. Since the industrial age, carbon dioxide levels have been increasing at a rapid rate and causing record high temperatures. But wetlands can help. When we keep our wetlands safe, they absorb carbon dioxide from the air and store it for hundreds of years. Plus, they provide food and shelter for animals. They filter contaminants from our water and they protect us from floods. Wetlands are so important and we need to conserve them. There's so much more we want to share with you. Check out www.ducks.ca slash teaching climate change to learn how wetlands are making a difference for our planet.